Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2014 to 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokees without the factory tow package. And on a custom fit part like this, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this harness provides a four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. And this harness does connect very quickly and easily. All you have to do is locate your connection points, which are behind the tail lights. Plug in these T connectors. There's two right here on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Ground your white wire. Then you run this power wire to your vehicle's battery. Now this harness, you'll notice, does include this black box, which is your tail light converter, and that's to ensure that your vehicle's wiring will match that of your trailer. It is a powered module, so it does connect directly to the battery to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. It is also constructed of SMT technology, which is surface mount technology. It gives you more consistent, reliable performance. It will maximize trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat and it ensures superior operation in any rough road conditions. It does also come with this dust cover for the four-way. You can attach it to the four-way and you can leave it on there if you'd like. And what that's used for is when you're not plugged into your trailer, just put that cover over there and it'll protect the terminals from any damage or from the elements. A few specs on this harness. The maximum amperage for the stop and turn light circuits is three amps per circuit. For the tail lights is six amps per circuit. Now it does come with everything laid out here on the table. It does have a nice set of detailed instructions that will describe how everything connects. But to basically just to go through it quickly here, what you want to do is gain access to behind your tail lights, and then you'll start on the driver's side. You'll take these two key T connectors and then you unplug the harness behind your tail lights, plug these into the same type of connectors. Once you get those all plugged in, what you want to do is this white wire with the eyelet on it. You want to connect that to a good clean ground that's nearby. If there's not one nearby, they do include this grounding screw that you can make your own ground. And then what you do is take this length of green wire, that's for the passenger side, run this over to the passenger side and do the same thing, plug this in behind the tail lights. Once those are all done, you want to take this bonded length of bonded wire here, run this out the back towards your trailer where it's going to connect to the trailer. And then your last connection will be this black power wire. But you, what you also want to do is make sure this black box, this tail light converter here, it's got some weight to it so you don't want it bouncing around. So they do give you this nice piece of double face tape you can use to attach it to a flat surface. They even have a little tab on here with a hole that you can put a screw through there to attach it also. <clears throat> so the last wire is this power wire. This will need to run to the front of your vehicle and they do give you this extra length of wire to do that and the connectors. So what you want to do is take one of the butt connectors, attach it to the power wire, connect it to one end of this length of wire, and then run this all the way up to the front of the vehicle towards the battery. But now you don't want to connect this directly to the battery. You want to connect it to this inline fuse ho holder. So you'll take the other butt connector, attach it to one side of this fuse holder, just like that. And then the other side of this fuse holder, attach this ring connector, and that attaches to the battery and then just pop open the fuse holder. Take this included 10 amp fuse, install it into your fuse holder, just like that. Put the cap on it and your system be all ready to go. Now they do give you some extra cable ties here to take up any slack in the wiring if need be. But that should do it for the review on this Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector.